Dude, it rips. It freaking rips, dude. Gotta watch for cops because I don't have a license plate or functioning turn signals. There she is, y'all. The new daily rider. First hit, baby, first hit. <clears throat> Honestly, I think it's, well, I know what it is. It's because this thing hasn't ran in a couple years. I'm surprised the battery's still good. What's up? So I'm still a little bit sick, but today we have some fun things going on. I got a new bike in the garage and we're gonna try to get the Vulcan running today as long as my battery guy up the street is open. So this is what we're working on this upcoming week. So we have a 2008 Harley Davidson night train. It's a soft tail. And this thing, she's seen better days. But this is a buddy of mine's bike. It's in very good condition. It's just been sitting in his garage for a long time. And uh, pretty much we have a no start symptom. But I think I've already gotten it figured out. Um, I've already checked some fuses, but he wanted me to just double check before we order anything. But let's just try it out. Actually, let me flip the mic around and I'll show you guys the uh, symptom that we were having. So like I said, this thing has a no start symptom and uh, I honestly think it's, well, I know what it is. It's because this thing hasn't ran in a couple years. I'm surprised the battery's still good. But if we pop the gas tank off, and if you could smell this, it smells like lacquer thinner, but I know you can't smell it. So first thing to check is we're going to actually hit the key and then we're gonna flip the starter switch and see if the fuel pump comes on. I already know it doesn't, but all right. So if you can listen, right? So ignition's off. Nothing. Nothing. So hit a crank. No pump. Simple solution. But we got to order parts. So I got to let my buddy know. I can't get this fuel pump to come on. Which leads us into our next project for the day, which is trying to get my free Vulcan 500 running. That way I can register it this week, get a plate for it, and uh, make it my new little daily rider because uh, the battery for that thing is, well, let me just show you. The battery for this bike is like $30 at my buddy's shop. Other side. Also, dealing with stuff on the truck yesterday, I had to run up to a friend's house and uh, put a new valve core or valve stem on my truck tire back here. Pain in the butt. This is the battery for the Vulcan. It's a 7L. Thing's super small, but I also have three cores. So I'm hoping me and my buddy can make a little deal. I get a decent price. But what's left on the Vulcan other than the fact that the turn signals are hanging off this thing and I cannot put the dirt bike bars on it like I wanted to because <clears throat> they're going to hit the tank. But what's left on this thing is to get a battery. I already drained the gas out of it so we need fresh gas and got to put the carbs back together which let me buy an entire box of these screws because I couldn't find enough at Ace Hardware that were standalone. So 100 screws for 20 bucks seems like an absolute ripoff, but it'll work. So let's put these back together really quick. You're probably wondering, what's he using? This is a Indian head gasket shellac. Why you may ask? It's because uh, I didn't buy bull gaskets and these ones aren't terrible, but to prevent any leaks, Shellac them up, dude. This is my own personal bike. That's not something I do on other people's stuff. Um, I just didn't feel like waiting or ordering more parts since I already need turn signals on this thing. So, yeah. Now we're going to put the screws back in it. I already cleaned the jets out. They're looking pretty good. Can't complain. Ugh. Yeah, we got pretty supple bowl gaskets here. I just don't want them to leak. 
this is kind of like one of those products that you can use. It works good, but you're better off just getting the actual stuff that you need. But again, man, sometimes it's just about getting it running. And I know bowl gaskets are cheap. Truth be told, I just didn't buy them. Alright, my bad. You probably feel the same way as I do if you're buying or receiving cheap motorcycles. Cheap cars or anything. It's kind of like the roadkill approach. Don't get it right, get it running. Um, yeah. And these carbs come off fairly easy. So if I need to replace uh, replace the gaskets, whatever, dude. At least I'll have brand new screws in it to where I can actually break them loose. They're not stripped out. So long as my boy at the battery shop's here today. I just stopped by there. And said that he'd be back at 9 o'clock and it's 8.30, so. <clears throat> All right. He's ready to go back on the bike. Let me check what time it is. And then we'll see if we're going to put these on right now or if we're going to wait a little bit. So, all right, let's put these bad boys back on. I don't remember how this goes. Let us sit down. Let us sit down next to y'all. All I know is get these throttle cables on first because it's going to be a pain in the ass if you don't. All right. <clears throat> Shut the garage down. First hit, baby. First hit. <clears throat> all right. I'm gonna go run up and get a battery. Try to see if my buddy's at his shop. I called him, he didn't answer. But we're gonna go, oh, my machine. So, if he's up there, I'm gonna get a battery from him. If not, I'm just gonna go to Walmart and get one, because I'm running out of time. I gotta bounce at like one o'clock. All right, got our battery. So, now I know the last battery I had was not necessarily the right one for said bike. So, right now, apparently we have the right battery for said bike. And now, we're going to put it in. All right. Choke. No fucking way! <laughs> Five years. I might have to become a Kawasaki guy, dude. Yeah. No oil lights, nothing. It's cool. The chain's a little loose. It needs it needs turn signals to uh, put on it. I heard the tires up. <laughs> About to go mob this thing, dude. Ooh, rear brake needs an adjustment. Dude, we're cruising. Oh, speedometer doesn't work. Uh oh. Dude, this thing's prime. Runs like a dream. That's oh, the key. I was like, what's that dinging noise? It's the key. Dude, this thing can't beat it for free? Sheesh. She kind of picks up. <clears throat> Dude, it runs great. It runs so good. Man, this thing's sweet. A rear brake definitely needs an adjustment, but... Dude, it rips! It rips, dude! <laughs> Little 500. <laughs> and it's a six-speed, which is pretty crazy to me. Downshift's nice. Clutch lets out really far. I can adjust that. <laughs> rear brake because of the ground. 
Dude, this thing's so sick. It's so quiet though. I mean, you guys probably can't even hear it. <clears throat> I can barely hear it. the deal is with the speedo cable i might might not have fucked it up but i'll i'll attend to that the front brake works good again front front suspension is like non-existent little bike to take to work man this thing's perfect and it was free <laughs> I don't know if I want to take this thing on the highway, <laughs> but if need be, I will. Yeah, man. Free bike. Dom, you're, I'll send you this video, whether you want to watch it or not. But how's it, how does it feel to see the first person view of your bike again after like six years? Thank you, brother. I really appreciate you letting me uh, pick this thing up. I'm gonna get turn signals ordered, probably a speed, ca a speed sensor cable. And I'll register this thing this week and I'll start riding it to work as uh, as much as I don't really want to do that um, it will save me a ton of money in gas and insurance yeah a little test ride <laughs> this thing's so funny and the light is on all right cool Dude, I will, I love it. <laughs> as much as I didn't want to, man, this is sweet. Turn signals are still back there. I don't know how much gas is in it, but it should be all right. Put like two gallons in it. It's so weird. At speed, I don't even hear the bike. It still accelerates pretty good in six gear. It needs the chain adjusted. It needs the clutch adjusted. I'll probably do an oil change. Everything else, she's good to go, baby. We. All right, we're full throttle right there. I don't know how fast we're going, but I mean, it's enough. It's enough to get the job done. It's enough to go the 11 miles a day to work. It's kind of cramped. I'm gonna have to wear a backpack. It's gonna be funny looking on this thing, especially. Cool street runner. Kick back, relax, roll out. Dude sick so sick there she is y'all the new daily rider dude free bike thanks dom all right so there she is in all of her glory the free vulcan 500 ltd it's a 2008 2008 2009 whatever i haven't even looked at the title adjust the clutch check the coolant test the fan put turn signals on it adjust the chain adjust the rear brake we're solid baby what a dream leaky fork seals and everything all right y'all peace